Okay, Sydney, let's look at part A. Now, honestly, the toughest part, I believe, about part A is being able to read all of the parts of this problem, okay? So first thing, use the line tangent. So that means I need a point and a slope. And they tell me when t equals zero. And we're gonna use this tangent line to approximate the amount of solid waste um, that the landfill contains at the end of the first three months. Okay, so first of all, let's write an equation of a tangent line, okay? So I'm going to show my work up here for part A. So we know we need a point and a slope. So the point is going to be when t is 0. So at time 0, how much waste is in this landfill? And so then once again, I have to look and read the problem. So at the beginning, it says, at the beginning of 2010, the landfill contains 1,410 tons. So at time zero then, we are gonna contain 1,400. So my y value would be 1,400. Now I need to find the slope. So they give us the rate of change equation, which is slope. So the change in waste in respect to time. So let's find the slope then at one over 25 when the waste is 1,400. Okay, so then we'd use our calculator or just do this mentally, because actually I think this might be a no calculator question. So it's 1 over 25 times 1,100. So 25 divided by 1,100. Oh, that goes in evenly. 25 times 4 is 100, and then I had to do that 10 times, so it's 40, so it's 44. Okay, so that means the slope is 44. So my equation then would be y minus y sub 0, which is 1,400, the slope is 44, oh, I'm running out of room, and then times x minus 0, which is just x. So I end up with y equals 1400 plus 44x. So there's my equation of the tangent line. Now, going to the next part of the question, it says then to use the equation line to approximate the solid waste um, at the end of the first three months. And they let me know that's when time is 1 fourth. Okay, so time is the input value. So I would then replace the x value with 1 fourth. So it's 44 then divided by 4, correct? So that would be plus 11. So it would be um, 1411. So that means then there would be 1411, 1,411 tons in this landfill at that time. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks.